My life has been intertwined with Catawba since my birth. My late father, Gordon A. Kirkland, was a legend as head football coach, and we lived in the now Ruth Richards house right on campus when I was born. At the age of two, we moved a block away from campus to 123 Lawrence Avenue. My sister Martha and I had the great fortune to be faculty children of a very closely knit campus at that time. Growing up in that era meant being very close to Dr. Earl Roos' children, Marion, Wiley, and Jackie, Becky and Dean Richards, the children of Chubb and Elaine Richards, and Ralph, Catherine, and Betsy Dearborn, whose parents were Don and Mary Dearborn. Earl Ruth, Chubb Richards, Don and Mary Dearborn are all part of our great history here at Catawba and revered by all who knew them. My fondest memories of my Catawba childhood are amazing faculty Christmas dinners in the dining hall each year, caroling through the neighborhood after the dinner with all the faculty and their families, playing ball on campus, hoping students would stop to play with us, and they always did, being embarrassed to be in May Day and always ending up having fun, and that our Thanksgiving Day always revolved around the traditional Turkey Day game with arch rival Lenore Ryan. What powerful memories they are of really happy times on this campus. When I look back, I think of how incredibly lucky Martha and I were to grow up on this amazing campus and how those experiences impacted my life. It was a much simpler, happier time, and I realized how those times and the wonderful people we lived our lives with helped us overcome the devastating loss of our father in 1953 when he was but 47 years old. My life really came full circle when I returned to Catawba eight years ago. I truly did come home.